Hi everyone! Today I want to talk about the shading needles and the different variety of needles and what is the difference. Uh, basically the needles are personal preferences but um, there is a um, flat shading needle, there is a round shading needle and there is double row shading needle. Um, the smallest ones, uh, round ones, uh, are coming in three, like this tiny small one, and five. Personally, I don't really like this needle because it's like too little of them. You cannot do too too much with them, but um, maybe for some very very small details, I will use five. Let's put the three ap apart. So then we have uh, another round needles number seven black one and number nine the uh, green one also there is the disposable hand tool with 21 attached this is my favorite one because it's 21 needles and you can do a uh, bigger spot and uh, make your work uh, faster but for some details uh, you may use seven or nine so they come the round needles normally should go in the tool that have like a round hole opening uh, they are still too expensive to buy and um, according to U United States uh, uh, OSHA regulations we need to dispose them so uh, that's why I, I don't really carry these ones because they're expensive to buy and you cannot really dispose them but I found that if you use the classic one and open it a little bit wider using like a knife or something you can still pull them in let me open it and it will work the same you see it's pretty stable so you can still use the classic tools using this kind of round needles um, so we have the number 21 which is disposable, my favorite one, and it come uh, with a cap, so uh, before uh, it was a little bit poking sometimes and coming out the package, now it's better because of having the cap. Um, we have the nine, which is the uh, green one, and seven, which is the, um, uh, the black one, which you can attach to the classic tool then we have the flat needles flat needles come in hard option 14 hard again special preferences or 14 uh, flex one which is flexible or even smaller 12 flex one uh, let's try the, the 14 today I think uh, you can do it uh, wider. Also, the difference between this and these needles, this 14 and this 14, but you can see this look much uh, uh, wider because the thickness of these needles is 0.30. Here the, it's 0.25, so it's thinner. That's why it's, uh, it's the same amount of needles, but they look um, thicker here. Also, one of my favorite ones is the double row, it's like, like kind of magnum needle, which is 15 needles in two rows. Uh, it's seven and uh, eight and seven needles on the top. This is one of my favorite as well. You can uh, cover more, uh, more space when you are working. We'll try this one. So ah there is like double row uh, 15 and double row 9 it's like 5 and 4 needles okay let's try and practice on the uh, practice mat 
So let me start using the number 21 shading needle, which uh, is uh, with disposable tool already attached. You pick a little bit pigment and then you poke the skin using the soft tap movement. So you can create ombre eyebrows, you can create powder eyebrows, just play and implant the pigment in. So this is, for example, 21. Let's try, let's try the 14 hard shading needle. Again, the same movement, poking the skin and planting like like a small cycles this nice uh, uh, this needle you can use like when you do the um, ombre eyebrow so you can make the base more darker work and then a little bit lighter on the top Of course, you can always work better on details. But I like the round one better in general. Let's try the 15 double row. the same movement I like using the hand tools because it's like you can control it with your hand where you need to go and how much pigment you need to deposit okay anyway so let's try the number nine round needle I personally prefer the round ones. Anyway, what we have, we have number 14 flex flat needle.
not huge fan of that you know and the small five round maybe if you need to fill in some details but again it's too small you it just for detail work The smaller needle configuration, the more pigment it implants. So that's why, like, 21 is like a little bit softer and nicer. Um, the 12, uh, the 14, you see how it's like leaving the lines behind. So, my favorite one is 21 shading needle.